comes at source. My Lords, I was speaking today with uh, businesses who have been working with farmers and land managers to develop mitigation schemes that could be used by housing developers. They were, I think it would be fair to say, in a state of shock. The rug has literally been pulled out from underneath their business plans. Uh, they um, are saying there were other ways that the government might have approached this. People have been working on the idea of a levy as an alternative. People have been working on the idea of changing the planning system so that um, the housing developers could later in the process bring in the mitigation schemes. So, um, what we've seen is a sudden nuclear option from the government to just throw away what's been there without any kind of replacement. So can the noble lady, the minister, tell me if the government has considered these other proposals of a levy, these other proposals of changing the way in which mitigation schemes come in, um, or, or have they just gone ahead with this single stroke without any consideration or consultation? No, as I've said to the noble lady opposite, um, this is why it has taken time. It has taken time to look at all the options. And as far as farmers are concerned, I mean, the, the, the package that we're offering is including £200 million to farmers um, for slurry infra infrastructure grants, really important to farmers, £25 million for nutrient management innovation. There's a lot of innovation going on, but farmers need the support to be able to deliver that. So actually, I don't know, I think farmers may not have seen all the information that is here, but I'm sure when they do, they will, uh, they, they will uh, support it wholeheartedly in the fact that we know that agricultural um, uh, outcome, uh, outputs are, are, you know, are, do, do put a significant amount uh, of nutrients into, the, in, into, the, into water, and we want to help them deal with that far more than they do the, than uh, small, uh, uh, small housing uh, 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 developments do. I, I think I just want to give an example of what has been stopped by this. An example of a proposal for a change of use around a house of multiple occupancy in the Solent to include one additional resident was dismissed on appeal due to the additional nutrient pollution. That can't be right. Another one, which was reported in the Times, my Lord, that one retired couple have struggled for seven years to convert barns and their Herefordshire property into four homes, including one for, the son, for their son. The scheme received outline planning permission in 2016, but, 20, but nutrient neutrality rules left them unable to build to this day. We want those houses but we also want to protect the environment, and that's what we're doing with, this, with these amendments. Could I ask my now friend, the Minister, what pressure 